hello friends so now in this video we are going to set proper menu on librarian side and student side so first of all librarian side we are going to make this page as a set a startup page and we are going to check how many links are remain to give in menu so we are going to run this Okay, so now I am going to log in. Yeah, so here right now we don't need this dashboard. So we are going to first remove this dashboard. So directly we are going to open this library.master and here we are going to remove this dashboard. No, oh, we need to stop this and then we need to delete. So we deleted this. Now we need to run again to check. We have to wait. Okay, now I'm going to log in again. You can see. Here dashboard is deleted. Now in boots we have two menus add boots display boots this is okay. In student we have display student this is also okay. But now here we need to add add penalty and issue boots. So for that here in menu we are going to copy this one li just paste here and here we are going to give heading penalty and here add penalty and here we need to give page name add penalty dot aspx now we need to create this type of one more menu the name is issue boots so copy paste here issue boots here also we are going to give heading issue boots and also we are going to add later on return boots also inside this so here now issue underscore boots dot asps and here we have logout but Right now we don't have logout page, so we need to create one page. Right click here, add, add new item. We are going to add web form. Name logout. We don't need master page. Here right click and view code. Here we need to write. session dot clear and response dot redirect our librarian login page so name is login dot asps now we are going to run this and we are going to check if this looks good then we are going to edit this way in student side
yeah we have add penalty yeah that's good and here we have issue boots that is also good so this way we can set menu in library inside but now we need to perform the same step on student side so first of all we are going to check student side so here student login set a start page and we are going to check yeah you can see here the search notification here we don't need this so first of all we are going to delete that so i am going to open student master if we can do that from here then directly we will do it otherwise we need to stop this project and then we need to delete that so first of all we are going to delete this demo yeah we can do this then search search notification so from here to here line number 164 to 188 i am going to delete this save and i am going to refresh here we can see notification is gone now we don't need this search icon also so for that you need to delete from division to division when you are going to delete multiple things then save now here we are going to check yeah we need notification because later on we need to use this so we can keep this now this icon we don't require okay so we need to find that my profile notification settings we don't need this so I am going to delete this and this also yeah so now we are going to check here okay so here you can see this is clean now now we are going to change here first of all this heading so for this heading we need to change this title so i am going on above here we are going to write yeah student panel now i am going to refresh here yeah and you can see here is in title we got here student panel now we want to delete this sufi admin and we are going to write here student panel so here has sign and I'm going to refresh here yeah and the same thing we need to perform here this is for responsive so I'm going to write here also and here also has sign yeah so okay this log out because we refresh multiple times that's why yeah so this looks good now now we are going to change here in menu so first of all we are going to delete this and here we are going to check we are going to keep this only one component and remove other things and then we will change as per our demand so here i am going to keep this only
so I'm going to refresh here and I'm going to check yeah so we have components maps and pages so we don't need right now maps and this extra also not needed so I'm going to delete this <coughs> No, we did any mistake. So control Z. We are going to delete step by step this li. Now refresh. Yeah. Now this li to this li. Now we are going to check here. Yeah, now we need to delete this H3. Okay. If you are good getting this type of problem, then you can use here n person n BSP. No, still problem. Now we have to find what is the problem over there. okay so now this is okay <coughs> now here we are going to write issued boots as a heading and here we are going to write my issued boots and here we are going to give our page name my issued boots and here we need one more heading boots here all boots so we don't require this so I'm going to delete this and here we are going to write student display all boots and here we are we can change icon also Now here I am going to refresh. So here we are not getting icon book. Yeah, here we are getting this icon and same icon we need here. So we added my suit boots link and then all student book links means all book. Now we are going to give you a link of logout. So I'm going to copy this. Paste here. We are going to write here sign out if available icon then we will get it here. No, we can keep your sign in. We need to change here. Papa, look. Log out. Here, log out. And we need to give you a link logout.asps. But right now, here also, we don't have logout.asps page. So we have to create that. But before that, we are going to check here. We got link or not. Yeah, we got link. But right now we don't have this page so we are going to create this page. So here we need to write same code. Web form logout.asps right click view code here we are going to write session.clear and response.redirect here we need to write student underscore login dot asps and yeah in student login page we need to give link to sign up so here
where is the submit button yeah this is the button and here br i am going to write href register now and here we are going to take student registration now we are going to check how it loads because sometime when we are going to write href it will take by default blue color and as per theme we need white color then we need to change it so we are going to check it yeah here you can see we got it but we need in center so here we are going to write here center tag cut and we are going to paste in last so we need to write this in between center and slash center now we are going to check here yeah now you can see if you don't like this color if you want to change this color then directly you need to write here in a tag you need to write style and then you need to write color black now we are going to check here yeah register now and then i can click here and you can see we forwarded here in registration page okay so now we are going to check here yeah we can see now our template all menus looks clean and we added whatever we done so now from next video again we are going to continue your project so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again